Dobro vam jutro, još jednom gledate start Bloomberg Adrije. Idućih pola sata, minuta više ili manje, posvećene su intervjuima koje vam donosimo ovdje iz naših regionalnih centara. Za početak bavit ćemo se kompanijom FACC. Zanimljiva je situacija gdje je jedan od najvećih globalnih igrača u polju aeronautike otvara pogon, odnosno otvorio je pogon u Zagrebačkoj županiji i zaposlio je više stotina ljudi i ima prijatelj prilično velike planove. Međutim, u bilanci dug je također značaja. No, ovo je jedna od onih industrija gdje se jedan veliki posao može pokazati kao spasonosan. Kakve točno planove ima i s kakvim se izazovima suočavaju u kompaniji Fisher Aeronautical Composite Components, rekao nam je njihov CEO Robert Machlinger. Mr. Machlinger, welcome to our program and let's get right on the business. Big investment for the company. You said that you had eight countries as an option. Why Croatia? Why Jakovlje? Uh, well, um, that was a, a, a very um, uh, well thought decision. Uh, Croatia and, uh, and the position where we are right now basically was selected because of very good accessibility from Austria also a very good access to people, a good education of, uh, of the people uh, we see in Croatia. And overall, uh, I think it was uh, a great place to be uh, setting up our plant number six, which will be key for FSSC going forward in the interiors business. Uh, you have big plans. You said it in a few interviews uh, for the future. Do you think there will be any significant market disruptions in the future? Well, the... Uh, entire aerospace market currently is changing a lot. Uh, aerospace always was a very sustainable industry, uh, looking for efficiency and, uh, and, uh, and uh, technology. Uh, well, looking forward, I think uh, aerospace uh, has um, lots of, uh, of sustainability technology to offer. Uh, and the biggest goal is uh, to have um, uh, aerospace technologies uh, flying with a CO2 neutral technology by 2050, which is definitely a, a big challenge for all of us, but also a very great opportunity um, in, in terms of technology development and production. Talking about future challenges, uh, what's your plan on servicing your debt since we witness a lot of interest rate hikes? So the money is more and more expensive. Well, interest and debt, I think, uh, is something uh, you have to understand in the aerospace industry. Uh, we have to invest quite a lot of money, I think, uh, before we start the program. But our business is very long term. So um, once we have a contract, uh, we deliver products for uh, 15, 20, 25 years. And basically, in terms of debt reduction, I think um, um, after COVID-19, uh, revenues are growing again. Um, The profitability of the company is going in the right direction, so the debt level uh, will be, uh, will be uh, reduced um, over the next two to three years uh, uh, to a level we had before the crisis. Are you worried uh, about what's ahead of uh, your main clients, uh, such as Airbus? Well, I think uh, there is always ups and downs, but once we look ahead over the past uh, 30 years and looking forward uh, into the next uh, 20 years, uh, there is a constant growth uh, uh, in, uh, in traveling uh, requirements all over the world. Um, so basically, I think in today's uh, world, uh, we all um, are quite busy in managing our worldwide supply chains. Um, uh, this will continue for the next couple of months, but um, I would say um, by the second half of the year 2023, There is more and more normalization um, uh, coming into the business, which will help FSC, but also our major clients uh, like Airbus uh, and all the other um, companies we are working for. Airlines are under pressure to reduce costs and uh, improve operational efficiency. Do you feel any part of that uh, pressure production-wise? Yes, I think this is... Uh, The aerospace, uh, and especially the airline industry, is a very competitive industry. So uh, airlines uh, have to look for efficiency. Uh, a main driver uh, in bringing the efficiency of an airline to a higher level is using more economical um, um, and more sustainable airplanes, like new airplanes. Um, 
What we have seen in the past years was certainly lots of technology development that has been asked by our customers uh, to, be, to be introduced to the market. Um, this will continue definitely and the next uh, generation of airplanes uh, will have a further demands in terms of lightweight, in terms of uh, fuel reduction, but also in terms of um, material recirculatory, uh, meaning that uh, new technologies are needed. Uh, this, of course, will um, uh, will be challenges for FACC, but good challenges because lightweight construction is a solution that will help the airlines to be more profitable going forward. And one last question. We be began this conversation with uh, the topic of Yakovlje. Uh, what's next? Uh, what's your plans for Yakovlje in the next period? Well, our next plans uh, for our Plan 6 in Croatia definitely is to triple the size of the company. We have set up the facility in 2021. We opened the facility in 2022. We have ramped up uh, employment uh, uh, to more than 200 people as we speak. Um, uh, currently, we are in the process of, um, of planning uh, the extension of the facility. Uh, groundbreaking is um, during uh, the second quarter of this year, and uh, our Plan 6 in Croatia will be three times the size uh, in 18 months uh, compared to what we have today. Really big plans and I hope we will have an opportunity to talk about everything uh, that you mentioned uh, as soon as you realize it. Uh, thank you once again for this interview. Well, very kind. Thank you for being with you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.